Jesus. Love of Jesus loves you. So repentance. Repentance is, again, I'm going to say one of the top five things in the Bible. There's like several, like, there's, there's like a few things that are key to salvation and repentance is one of them. And I, I just want to start off by saying repentance is a one time thing. <laughs> repentance, repent of your sin. Like John the Baptist, John the Baptist was preparing the way for Jesus and his message was repent, turn away from your sin, stop sinning, bear fruits in keeping with repentance, like keep repenting, keep, uh, like turn away from your sin and don't go back. So when Jesus started preaching, he said, repent, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus said, repent. It's a one time thing. There's of course, we can repent before we're saved. Like, I repent of that, God, I'm sorry. And I, okay. <laughs> I repent of that, I'm sorry. That, like, but you have to also say, I'm not going to do it again. Like, it's turning your back on it forever. So, salvation, all right. <laughs> I'm getting all, mu I'm getting all muddied up. Salvation repentance Salvation repentance is a one-time thing. You turn your back on everything. You turn your back on sin. That's true saving repentance. And you give you saving faith is giving your life to Jesus. But saving, re it's the same thing. You turn your back on sin and everything and you give everything to Jesus. Saving repentance, saving faith. It's two sides of the same coin. So repentance is a one-time thing where you forsake your sin. Like, I'm never going to sin again. And then, uh, and you give your life to Jesus. And Jesus, through the Holy Spirit living in you, helps you not to sin, helps you to live a holy life. So, but after you're saved, uh... The, the people in heaven are the spirits of the righteous made perfect. So nobody is perfect on earth. Everyone's perfect in heaven. But the people that go to heaven are the spirits of the righteous. The spirits of the righteous, when they go to heaven, they'll be made perfect. So when we're born again, we're going to live a holy, pure life, a righteous life, because we have the righteous spirit living in us so but we still we still may make a mistake or do something and we repent of that like so so there's one big repentance we turn our back on all sin and everything that's against God we turn our backs on it I'm never doing any of that again I'm doing whatever Jesus wants. You give your life to Jesus, whatever you want me to do, you're going to help me do. And then you're saved when you give your life to Jesus. Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. End of story. So, but if you make a mistake or do something after you're born again, you repent of it to never do it again. Um... But like I say, like, I don't know. It's completely different. You have to make sure you're saved because like, it's a, I have a completely different life, a completely new life than I had 11 years ago. I got saved 11 years ago and it's, it's like a radical, it's like when the Bible says you're a new creation created in Christ Jesus a new creation. You're like a different creation. Like I've said this in a different video, but it's like two different animals, like a panda and a zebra. Like you're born a panda. And when you give your life to Jesus, you're a zebra. Like you don't climb tree. Pandas climb trees. Zebras don't climb trees. They don't want to. They can't like 
it's a new creation it's a different creation so like when you actually get saved it's an atom bomb of holiness and god entering in your heart and you're not going to climb trees anymore you're not going to live in sin anymore but repentance is important before you're saved um before you're saved you want to stop sinning because you're not getting any closer to jesus by living in sin or committing sin and then after you're saved if you do something wrong you say god help me not do that again and i'm sorry but you can't i don't there's a huge difference i'm sorry like <laughs> if you're a born again believer if you really had that moment where like all of a sudden i'm walking I'm a panda, I meet Jesus, now I'm a zebra. Like, I don't want to sin, I'm not gonna sin. It's, it's like, very, like, you're not gonna want to sin. You're not gonna live in sin. You're a completely different creation. So repentance is a one-time thing at salvation, the big repentance. And then before you're saved, you can turn your back on sin uh, like leading up, like I, I stop that sin. I stop that sin. Like as you're seeking after God and God has to save you. So you have to pray, but anyways, and then after you're saved, like, like, I, like I'll do something, like I'll say something to somebody and I'm like, that was kind of, that was kind of an angry, mean statement. And I'll be upset about it. And I'm like, I don't need to do that. So, but I'm not like living in sin. I'm not like, you know, robbing gas stations. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a, a difference. There's a difference. The sins of an unregenerate unbelief, the sins of somebody who's not born again is way different. First of all, before I was saved, I didn't have a connection with Jesus. I was trying to follow Jesus based on my own understanding, but Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says to lean not on your own understanding. So trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So you trust in and, and that that's true for everyone whether you're saved or not trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so the 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 other one i don't know the reference for the, the seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness but uh So it's kind of like, it's okay, here's kind of what it's like. So repentance is like, I hate being a panda. I hate climbing trees. I Climbing trees represents sin. So pandas are climbing trees and you're like, I'm sick of being a panda and climbing trees. I'm sick of sinning. So repentance is you're like, you get out of the tree. You give your life to Jesus and you become a zebra. And then as a zebra, you might start to climb the tree and you're like, this is ridiculous. Like, I can't even climb the tree. I don't want to climb the tree. I wasn't made to climb the tree. I'm leaving the tree. So you might start like, I'm going to climb the tree. And you're like, I'm a zebra now. I don't climb trees. <laughs> so you're a new creation. So. We need to repent of our sin, whether we're before we're saved or the big repentance of turning your back on everything or after we're saved. If we if we do something, we turn our back on it if it's wrong. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. Love you. Jesus loves you. Have a godly great day. Jesus.